everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Diana. I'm the D of MJD and NYC. Thank you so much for coming. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, like, comment, send us more suggestions. We're always looking to put out more content for you guys. Why is my cadence like this? As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do if you don't get into your early decision school. I know ED and EA decisions are coming out shortly and it is so stressful, like unbelievably stressful and I feel for you and my heart goes out for you. So I'm going to talk about my own experience, be a little vulnerable and then give you some advice that I'm going to say it and you may or may not take it seriously but in a few years I think it'll become more valid because that's what happened to me when I didn't get in. I Every single thing that someone said to try to make me feel better I was like <laughs> I just feel bad right now. Any, any hoodles. So I've talked about this in a different video. I got rejected actually ED1 and ED2 but I'm going to talk about ED2 because that's like what I actually like really 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 wanted to get in. My ED2 was Vanderbilt. I was ride or die Vandy. I think everyone at my school knew how much I wanted to go. I had um, Vanderbilt keychains for my car so it was like whatever like so obvious I was gonna get in and I really wanted to go to Vanderbilt and I remember getting rejected and feeling so defeated for a variety of reasons. You may or may not feel like this if you don't get into your ED school but I kind of was like I worked so hard in high school I really wish I got in. I don't have a back like I have backups obviously but there's nothing that's like calling my name. There's nothing where I'm like this is the school where I belong. My mom kept being like, it's fine, like I didn't want you to go to Tennessee anyway, like whatever. And like everyone was like, you're still smart, like it doesn't mean anything. But at the time it was super hard not to get in. And so that being said, I just, I want you guys to know that I was there if I didn't get in. I didn't get in and it felt like it felt so bad like I it was really sad so if you feel bad or sad or defeated you're not alone so my words of advice are first and foremost like it doesn't say anything about your intelligence the whole college process is such a crapshoot anyway like if you look at acceptance rates like let's say it's like a 20% acceptance rate and you don't get in that doesn't necessarily mean you're in the 80% like you're 80% you're not as smart as the people who got in. They can have two exactly the same resumes and like pick one like pretty randomly, right? So many people are qualified, so many people get good grades, so many people take hard classes, or from all over parts of the country, different parts of the world. So if you don't get in, it really like probably was pretty random. Like it really doesn't mean that you weren't qualified if you're applying to the school. ED especially is tricky because it's like like a, usually like a higher acceptance rate but it's people who like really really want to go to the school and you know it's not anyone's second choice obviously because it's ed so if you don't get in it doesn't say anything about who you are as a student your intellectual capabilities or anything like that so that was one of the things people kept telling me and i was like no i'm an idiot but it's just not true like you know, it's so random. Try not to take it personally. Um, just like saddle up and start, you know, writing your other app. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the first piece of advice. The second piece of advice that people told me all the time and I did not listen to, and then it worked out insanely well, was mostly from my mom. Like she was like, in four years, this isn't gonna matter at all. Like you're never gonna think about this until you film a YouTube video on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're never gonna think about this and this isn't gonna affect your life. It's not gonna affect your trajectory. And basically like everything will work out in the end. And I was like, okay, maybe it'll work out but it won't work out the way that I wanted or like whatever, like you can't say that. How do you know everything's gonna work out? I'm gonna drop out of college, etc. cetera, and which isn't true. And as you know from this channel, I love Barnard. So I ended up, I got into Barnard regular decision and I went to the days, I never even visited Barnard. Like Barnard was not a school that I was on the 
on my radar at all really and I went to Barnard for accepted ex like days on campus accepted students day and I fell in love with it I think I've talked about this in a different video but I like genuinely was like this is the place for me and I didn't even realize like I, I remember having tears on my eyes and being like I know this is where I want to go to school and so I would just like keep that in mind like it, you may not be excited about any of the regular schools you get into but being on campus and like seeing the students and knowing that you got in it will totally change how you feel about the school and you will find a school that you like just as much and even if you're not excited until the day you get on campus, you're gonna get to college and have the best time and meet the best people. And most likely like transfer is not gonna be on your mind. You're gonna like, enjoy your classes and you're gonna have fun. And you're gonna realize that like, I don't know why I keep burping. You're gonna realize that you're so happy where you ended up. Yeah, and the last thing I wanted to talk about, life trajectory. I really feel like I got my job because I went to Barnard and I met the best people in the world because I went to Barnard and I am happy like ultimately because I went to Barnard and you know it's not if it's not Barnard it's gonna be wherever you get into basically it's going to work out you're going to meet people you're going to succeed like you'll get a job you'll graduate and none of those good moments will have happened if you went to your ED school. So with all that being said, I am so proud of each and every one of you. I know you worked your butts off in high school and this is such a scary and stressful time and you are not alone. Everyone's feeling that way. I hope you all get into your top school of choice. If you are applying to Barnard, I hope it's Barnard. And if not, then you're gonna do great wherever you go. You're going to succeed wherever you go. Everything is gonna work out. Everything happens for a reason. If you don't get in, ultimately you were not supposed to get in. So keep that in mind. I love all of you. I think you guys are all doing great. If you wanna talk about this or chat or have any, you know, or have any emotional things you want to talk about, our DMs are always open. We're here for you. Again, it's such a hard time. My heart goes out for you. And I wish you the best of luck. Uh, thank you for coming. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. You can DM me on Instagram. And yeah, bye guys. Good luck.